morning everyone welcome to today's video and it's the final part of the trig build so this video i'm just going to show you what i've done with it and just go through the first ride experience so please enjoy let me know if you've got any thoughts So first ride out on the Ragley Trig. So far I've done five miles. Beautiful day. The bike is running really smooth for a first ride. Steel frame, I mean this is, I've ridden off a normal road so this is not typical tarmac around here, this is a freshly laid tarmac track but on the road, really smooth, steel frame, very little vibration, I've kept the same tyre pressures which is 40 psi for me, uh, tubeless, so it's comparable to the alloy frame I had. Uh, but it just, I don't know, it feels really solid. It feels really good. I was going to do a video of installing the rear derailleur, but there is a bit of a story with yesterday in that I started putting new gear cables in and I've not done it for donkey's years. So when I pulled the hoods back, took the old cable out, put a new one in, threaded it all through, started to click through the gears and wondering why the cable wasn't tightening. And it so happened that I'd not put the head of the cable in the correct position, it not fastened in, so it pulled through and got wedged in the gearing. And it took me hours to get it out. So a lot of frustration. So in any event, I just wanted to get the bike done and sorted, so I didn't have time to film, unfortunately. Eh -ho. Three, three gear cables yesterday. I was had the issue with the first one that got stuck. I had to change that. Went to a second one, got it most of the way through the cable out had already taped to the bars and it started stripping the cable. Morning. So I had to tear that out literally and put a fresh one in and just have a bit of patience. But as regards the rear hanger, if you've not done one before, I used to struggle getting the initial tension just by a, a cable tensioner. Lifeline do one at Wiggle and it just saves masses of heartache. It literally went straight on with a minor alteration to the nut at the back for the tension, but straightforward to be honest. No worries at all. So a quick uh, pit stop and I'll show you some of the things I've done. If you look on the stem, You'll notice there, uh, I've put a 5mm spacer just below the top cap. The reason for that is, I not realised when I put the initial one on the third video, that it's uh, convex and uh, so it wasn't sitting flush with the top of the uh, stem. So I just put a spacer in there, tighten it down and that's gone on really well. Um, those carbon spacers below, um, believe it or not, I found those in my toolbox still in wrappers. And I bought them about 2005, so uh, 17 years old and going strong, but finally found a place on the bike. GRX, 46 up front, 11.32 on the back, 10-speed uh, chain, uh, neat proof 
uh, I think they're the Chromo pedals, um, but I've had those on a couple of bikes and they're really decent pedals. So no reason to change them. Tires, Continental Terra Speed 700 by 40 Hunt 4 Season Gravel X Wide wheel set, which is featured on a different video. But yeah, really pleased. Yeah, so really smooth. Might even put the uh, 34 Aero Wide road wheels and tyres on this as well and see what it's like on the road. But uh, anyway, back to it. I do think actually with a set of road wheels on this, it'd be quite a capable road bike. Obviously not a Von 2 kind of climbing bike because of the weight, etc. But if you wanted a bike that you can use all year, and if you've not got a huge budget, it could be worth something that's worth considering at least. The frame set at the time I purchased it was 649. I took a lot of parts off the old bike, and I think what I have bought comes to about two or three hundred pounds. Although I am going to temper that with the fact that. Probably half of that actually was tools. Tools that I needed, like the headset press, the pipe cutter. I think those two alone were about 90 pounds, 95 pounds. So if you've already got stuff like that, or you've got another way to do it, you could do it for a lot cheaper. So we've tried out the road aspect of it, and it rides really well. So now we're going to hit this gravel section and see what that's like. Let's get some speed. super cushioned. As regards the setup and the positioning on this bike, it's slightly different to the last bike, the top zone. I took measurements from the tip of the saddle to the edge of the stem, and this is two centimetres shorter, but I'm not noticing a massive difference yet. We'll see as we go through the miles. Morning! So this frame is a large frame. And I'm height-wise at the top of the recommended uh, settings for that, so unfortunately I didn't have any extra large left. But, so far so good. So final thoughts, as I uh, do a bit of a sprint back in. Loving the bike. The only alteration I am going to make to it is the height of the seat because I'm finding that my knees are not properly extending so just to prevent any sort of knee pain on longer rides I'm going to lift it up probably about 20 mil maybe but other than that super impressed with it so thanks for watching everybody please like and subscribe I'm not a professional bike builder but if you like what you see please uh, show some support and I'll see you next time.